Hiya! Welcome to LSB Feasters Radio Channel and Travel Corner, where we keep great radio from the past alive. Today we're going to New York and 101 WCBS FM. CBS FM was New York's oldies station from 1972 until 2005 when it became Jack. Let's not talk about that. Uh, anyway, the station had so many legends working there through the years. Ron Lundy, Harry Harrison, uh, oh, of course, Dan Ingram, Jack Spector, and the voice heard on this air check, Max Kinkle. Max was doing overnight for years on CBS FM, over a decade, and he just brought a lot of energy and fun to the overnight hours. Before coming to CBS FM, uh, Max, known as Super Max, was pretty much making waves into Detroit at CKLW, just bringing his energy and fun to the air. After his, I think about 11, 12 years on CBS FM, he spent some time on K-Rock, WXRK in New York, and he is still rocking on the internet on his own internet radio station, supermaxradio.com, where he does the morning show. If you like what you hear, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and smack that bell to be notified whenever we post anything new. All right. Let's go back with Super Max Kinkle on 101 WCBS FM, New York. CBS FM, isn't that a great song, huh? Billy Ward and his Dominoes and Stardust from 1957. Thanks for waiting on the phone lines, and thanks ever so much for giving us a chance here at All Night Radio to get that on for you. Coming up in just moments, more great music here with Max Matt. I'm going to take care of you with a lady that I love so dearly. Lady Soul going to be here in stereo on 101 FM next. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 24 of my favorite oldies. Just in time for the holidays, it's the brand new WCBS-FM 101 History of Rock the 60s, Part 5, featuring Fontella Bass, Chuck Berry, no particular place to go. The Angels, my boyfriend, Sam the Sham of the Pharaohs, Great Christmas or Hanukkah present. Available on cassette or double LP. Ask for it now at your favorite record store. The WCBS FM 101 History of Rock the 60s, Part 5. 24 of your favorite oldies. Crack may be a death sentence to an adult. If you're pregnant, crack may sentence your baby to mental retardation, stunted growth, permanent learning disabilities. Crack babies often do not survive the first six months of life. If you're pregnant and use hard drugs, your baby does too. Mommy, don't. This is Michelle Lee with the March of Dimes, preventing birth defects. CBS FM, with you in mind. Well, in 101 weather for today, it is going to be a nice day. A Thursday ahead of us calling for partly sunny, windy, cool. A uh, high today going to be in the mid to upper 40s, not bad. 44. And we're cloudy skies right now in New York City. It's CBS FM 101. Maxie here. I promised you some Motown memories of the lady we know as Lady Soul in stereo. Aretha with the purple lips and the neon eyeballs. I don't know. If that, is that a natural woman like that? Yeah. Looking out on the morning rain. She saw Shaw can say. CBS FM. Oh, like a natural woman. No preservatives. No artificial sweeteners. It's uh, Aretha with Max here. Coming up in the next hour, my goodness, where does that first hour fly by to? Huh? How about the Supremes with Jeannie Terrell, Hamilton, Joe Frank, and Reynolds? That's going to be coming up. Huey Lewis and the news. It'd be hip to be square. Keep it right here with your old buddy. Max Kinkle. Hey, Randy Reynolds with the news Hollings, a Democrat, says the president has not come clean and should admit he knew it all, the weapons deal and the Contra connection. Quoting unidentified sources, the Wall Street Journal says the Reagan administration tried last May to buy the release of one Israeli soldier and the American hostages in Lebanon with a three-part ransom, $2 million cash, the sale of military parts to Iran, and Israel's release of 300 Lebanese prisoners. The journal says the deal fell through because the group holding the Israeli would not let him go. Each year, Michigan State University surveys hundreds of employers to come up with a job forecast for next year's graduates. The latest survey finds many employers don't plan to hire anybody in the coming year. Job opportunities are going to be fewer this year. Salaries will go up slightly. The best 
opportunities will be available in the southwest and northeast. And the worst job opportunities uh, for college graduates will be available in the northwest. From the CBS Newsroom, I'm Randy Riddle. Dr. Wayne to emergency staff. Dr. Wayne to emergency staff. 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 In the hospital, stack means right away. And when you have a sore throat, you want pain relief right away. That's why our fast-acting sore throat lozenges are called Cepastat. Cepastat. Stat, 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 stat. With an anesthetic action that temporarily relieves minor sore throat pain, stat. Cepastat. Stat, stat, stat. Now in delicious cherry, too. And for coughs, get Novahistine DMX. Novahistine, a name known and recommended by doctors. Novahistine DMX. Use only as directed. Strangers. Six people with nothing in common but one unearthly night when fear stripped them of their memories. Close the door! Don't let it in! But now the terror is driving each to the edge of the unknown. Father of mercy, they're back! Strangers. The chilling New York Times bestseller from the master of fear, Dean Arcos. Strangers. Don't leave me alone! Please! Please! It's out there! Strangers. A Berkeley paperback now on sale. I'm Al Meredith with Focus. Traffic signals that stay red in all directions until cars want to get through have gone into operation at an intersection in Little Neck, Queens. The experimental lights dubbed Rest on Red signals by their designer, Deputy Transportation Commissioner Samuel Schwartz, respond both to pedestrian push buttons at corners and to cars rolling over sensors embedded in the pavement. Transportation Department spokesman Victor Ross says the signals, first of their kind in the city, are at the intersection of Langdale Street and 80th Avenue. Ross says the system is experimental and will be monitored very closely. Residents of the Little Neck neighborhood asked for traffic lights because a number of accidents have occurred at the intersection, but the volume of traffic was not great enough, according to federal standards, to warrant it. Schwartz said they were able to satisfy residents by installing the experimental light. I'm Al Meredith with Focus on CBS FM. CBS FM 101 with the greatest hits of all time. Celebrating over 30 years of rock and roll. This is Max Kinkle. Good to have you here on All Nine Radio. Go on, play this for Gina. The Golden Year, 1963. Barbara Lewis. Hello, stranger. This is no stranger to you. It's your old buddy Max. <laughs> Always with the best of the old, back to back with the best of the new. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Here at All Night Radio, East Side, West Side, all around the big town. Let me give you Huey Lewis in the news. CBS FM, baby. Hear that everywhere. It's hit the beat square. I know the feeling. Maxie here. Let's go to the telephones right now. Hi, who's this waiting? Yeah, how you doing? Good. Who's this? This is Junior. Hi, Junior. Good to have you here with Max at CBS FM. Junior, you sound... Do you work for the CIA? No. You sound like a spy. <laughs> sound like, shh, I can't talk too loud. They may be listening. Uh, um, I want to make a better case. If they're listening, I got something for them to hear. Yeah, go ahead, baby. Lay it on me, Junior. All right, I want to hear, um, and they called it Puppy Love. And they called it Puppy Love? Yeah. Is that why do you, you've been you've been caught in the middle of the night going, <laughs> <laughs> Is that to be the case, Dad, Junior? That'd be the case. I love you, baby. All right, listen. Yeah. I to go out to Judy from Junior. Judy? To Judy. Yeah, to Judy from Junior. All right. All right, baby. All right, thanks for that. Coming out right now. Right. Faster than fa- fa- faster than Federal Express. Thank you. Bye. And they called it puppy love. This is not a puppy love. 101 CBS FM. CBS FM 101. Celebrating 30 years of rock and roll. CBS FM, what a phenomenon has taken place on the monkeys. 
resurgence. 1968, Valerie. Maxie here with you with the music until Harry Harrison Showtime at 5.30 this morning. It is a Thursday here in the big town. Coming up in just moments from right now, have I got good stuff for you. How about we do some Larry Chance and the Earls by request. Brenda Lee in a classic from the golden year 1960. Sure, I got more Beatles for you and the Pretenders. And don't get me wrong, that song and more is coming up right here on 101 FM. We're in the morning. Oh! Time to roll that lottery numbers from overnight. Noise the dailies come first, and here they are. The New York Daily, 287. The New Jersey Daily, 809. The Connecticut Daily came in at 743. Got the New York win for 9059. The New York Lotto, 48. 19. 23. 26. 27, 37, 44. Supplementary number, 42. The New Jersey pick for 9847. And the Connecticut play for number came in at 3644. And I hope you bagged the big bucks, baby. Sports and weather coming up next right here on 101 with Max All Night Radio. This portion being brought to you by Crazy Eddie. It's a Crazy Eddie audio Christmas blowout blitz. And Crazy Eddie's got the absolute guaranteed lowest sale prices ever on anything and everything in audio equipment. Compact disc players, stereo rack systems, they're all on sale. Equalizers, cassette decks, they're all on sale. Turntables, speakers, receivers, they're all on sale too. Crazy Eddie's the greatest helper Santa Claus has ever had because he's got anything and everything in audio equipment on sale now, especially for you during his audio Christmas blowout blitz. Remember, we are not undersold. We will not be undersold. We cannot be undersold. And we mean it. Crazy Eddie's going to make your Christmas sound better than ever before with his audio Christmas blowout blitz. Get anything and everything on your Christmas list from Crazy Eddie now because Crazy Eddie's prices are insane. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, listen, all stores are celebrating the grand opening of Crazy Eddie's newest superstores. In Philadelphia and Valley Stream with his double barrel Christmas grand opening blitz. You're going to love it to death at the crazy man's place, yeah. And uh, Maxie here with you. Oh, we're going to do this first, yeah, aren't we? I think we're going to do this. And then uh, and then we're going to go to um, uh, the sports and weather. Um, yeah, no, no, we'll do this a little bit later on. No, I'm, I'm flexible here, baby. I can do anything, you know. You want to do this? And then we'll come right back with the sports and weather. I'm pregnant. I'm achy. I can't sleep and I'm nervous. It's a big pain and it's only a little pill. Don't. If you're pregnant, don't take any medication unless it's prescribed by a doctor who knows you're having a baby. Mommy, don't. A warning from the March of Dimes, preventing birth defects. CBS FM, with you in mind. Well, as the uh, CBS FM sports scoreboard last night, we'll run them down for you right now. On the ice, uh, Edmonton Oilers uh, gave a loop job and a half to the New York Islanders, 7-1 to last night. The Whalers over the Quebec Nordiques, 2-1. to in uh, in B-ball, uh, Detroit, uh, the Pistons over the New Jersey Nets in overtime, 107 to 106, of course. And in top 20 uh, B-ball, uh, it was uh, Georgetown Hoyas over Grambling, 96 to 52, a blowout. I was reading yesterday in the sports pages, John Thompson, uh, of course, head coach of uh, Georgetown, is uh, saying that the Knicks are not handling Patrick Ewing properly. And they are now speculating, uh, of course the sports writers will speculate on anything, <laughs> an untied shoelace or a dirty locker, uh, that um, perhaps John Thompson might want to come to New York in a Big Apple here and uh, coach the Knicks. And of course, in specific, his former student of the uh, courts there, Mr. Ewing, which I think is just absolute... <coughs> <laughs> because he'd, he'd be nuts to give up Georgetown. What a gorgeous university. The 101 weather going to be partly sunny this uh, Thursday. Ahead of us, windy, cool today. High going to be in the mid to upper 40s. It is 42 down to right now. And partly cloudy skies in New York City. Hi, this is Mr. Music, Norman Knight. Join me Sunday at 5 p.m. for the top 20 songs of December 7th, 1962. I'll be featuring performers like The Orlons, D.D. Sharp, Chubby Checker, Elvis, The Crystals, and The Duprees while I count down the top 20 songs of 24 years ago. That's Sunday night, 5 to 7 p.m., right before Don K. Reed and the Doo-Wop Shop. The top 20 songs of December 7th, 1962, with me, Mr. Music, on CBS FM 101. Top 20 countdown. 101, CBS FM. Thanks. Now give me the horns, baby! Uh, 
I love it to death. Look to mention here at CBS FM. And Maxie taking you back to the golden year, 1960, here on All Night Radio. Still a one. This is Maxie right here on that radio in the big town. Hello, baby. What happened with the tree fall on your house? I'm telling you, this has not been a good month and a half for the Max Man. You know what I'm talking about? The tree fell on the house last night. night. It was a bad night. It was raining. Oh, no, I'll tell you, it was just terrible. Wasn't that the first night it snowed? By, by the, that was the first night it snowed. No, well, actually, it was ping pong balls coming down by me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm all right. I'm all right. That's good. How's the tree on your house? And that's all bad. <laughs> Matter of fact, now I got firewood for the next 11 years. You have a fireplace. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, see where the tree landed. I got more than that. Oh, poor Max. Hey, Max. Yeah, baby. Max. Yeah. Friday night, I want you to just look into the audience. We're going to have a great big banner saying the gaslight is here. Oh, yeah? Of us are oh, I love it. I love it. You're coming to the show at Red Bank? Of course we are. New Jersey. It's coming the night you came down the gas light. At the Count Basie Theater. Yeah, well, you'll see my uh, my family's going to be there. Really? Yeah, you'll get to meet them all. Oh, great. Yeah. Now, well, are, will I be able to talk to you at all that night? Uh, I would think so, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I'm all excited. Okay, I'm looking so forward to this. It's unbelievable. I can't wait. I think I think you better watch out. You don't, don't go through radar with them hormones hopping that hot. <laughs> George, I do love you. And the Pretenders, don't get me wrong, that's just the title of the song. I got 101.1. Kinkle here all night radio in the big town in the midst of loving great songs in a row for you. The 101 weather for today, partly sunny, windy, cool. I going to be in the mid-upper 40s for this Thursday. Partly cloudy, 42 degrees right now in New York City at CBS FM. <laughs> Nothing too drastic. How about a Porsche, a condo down in Bermuda? This is Max here with you all night radio in the big town. Coming up in the 4 o'clock hour, the Classics 4, Rupert Holmes, probably Broadway's biggest and hottest uh, TV uh, TV producer. I was going to say uh, Broadway producer. I should have said that. Uh, the Four Seasons are coming up. And for Jimmy Pim, one of New York's finest at Metro North, I'm going to get him some Robbie Neville. And uh, c'est la vie. On for you. You understand from your body. Max Kinkle. Randy Riddle's next with the news. Vice President Bush has spoken out on the Iran weapons deal and the possibly illegal payments to the Nicaraguan Contras. He says that he and Ronald Reagan have a duty to preserve the public trust. To the extent that that trust has been damaged, it must be repaired. And only the truth can repair that. The president says only two men know the full truth, John Poindexter and Oliver North, and so far they're not talking. Poindexter invoked the Fifth Amendment Wednesday, refusing to answer questions from the Senate Intelligence Committee. From the CBS Newsroom, I'm Randy Riddle. Delicious Vicks Vitamin C Drops are here. A treat for you throughout the year. Great orange taste mixed with vitamin C from Vicks. Vicks Vitamin C Drops melt in your mouth for a delicious new way to get your full daily allowance of vitamin C. 
So celebrate east, west, north, and south, because now vitamin C melts in your mouth. Great orange taste mixed with vitamin C from Vicks. Vitamin C drops from Vicks, of course. We'd like to welcome you aboard. Hey, look at this ad for Trident Gum. Unbelievable. Are we off the ground yet? It says Trident Gum helps fight cavities. Come on, look at this. I'm not opening my eyes. I hate flying. Read it to me. Okay, new dental studies prove chewing Trident after sugary snacks reduces acids that form on teeth. It's these acids that can cause cavities. I knew Trident didn't cause cavities, but that says it helps fight them. Let me see. Gotcha, you open your eyes. I think I'm going to faint. Delicious Trident Gum. Good to chew and fights cavities, too. Don't you move. You're captured in Max's size. On the flip side of the news, Maxie's TV show on radio will continue. I'm Al Meredith with Focus. Mom says nap. Kid says no. Mom grabs kid and marches same to bed. Shrieks out of a Vincent Price movie follow. Then everything is quiet. Naps now on this report written by the AP's Ira Dreyfus. The kid does not want a nap. The whales are heart rendering. After a while, though, things calm down. You peek in to see if the kid is asleep. Nope, he's wide awake, and you have to wonder if it did any good to stick him in solitary, sentenced to nap. Well, some psychologists can relieve your mind. They say it does. That just lying down and resting can improve the mood of the child or adult who does it. The director of the Psychological Service Center at Washington University in St. Louis, Amy Bertelson, designed a study to look into it. The research was done at Texas A&M and reported in the journal Psychophysiology. Some college students were given an hour to nap in, others just rested in bed, and a third group watched a nature program on videotape. The result, nappers and resters were more cheerful and active after their hour, while the tape watchers were less cheerful and more lethargic. To psychologist David Dinges of the University of Pennsylvania, who'd been a graduate student at Washington University, it makes sense. He thinks the need for an afternoon rest might be based on our physiology. And he says that could be especially true for those of us who don't get a full eight-hour sleep. He says it's perfectly healthy and not a sign of a sleep disorder. But don't expect the kid to be faster on the flashcards just because he's had his nap. The researchers say unless someone is really short on sleep, merely getting a nap will not improve job performance. I'm Al Meredith with Focus on CBS FM. Greatest hits of all time. Dennis Yosin and the Classics Boy and Spooky. And this is Maxie right here along with you. Max Kinkle. Along with everybody else here at CBS FM celebrating over 30 years of rock and roll. Let me dish it out for you right now. Mr. Rupert Holmes, Mr. Broadway himself on 101. Uh, if you like me, get to know. CBS FM remembers 1965. Side all around the big town. New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, and 125th Street. <laughs> but Jimmy Pitt, my buddy up there. Say, Nabi, here's Robbie. Neville on 101. 